Everybody back to the channel. So there's a lot of Christmas noobs inside of MWZ. There's a lot of people who don't really know what to do whenever they get into the MWZ, especially when it comes to unlocking classified schematics and basically getting all the good acquisitions to become OP in the game. Today we showcase how to go into the Dark Ether with no guns and successfully uh, complete it and get the rare acquisition so you can become OP inside of your game. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in and let's get a word from our sponsor and enjoy. Looking to unlock the new MW3 camos such as Interstellar and Borealis, or just playing lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, all the best schematics, or even instant delivery pre-made accounts. Be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with heaps of brand new offerings for MW3 with completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Link is in the description. Make sure you guys use code SPAZO for 5% off. All right, welcome everybody back to the channel. So today we're going to be heading into the Dark Ether, but the catch is we're not going to be using any guns. We're only going to be using lethals and tacticals in our field upgrade and whatever we can collect in game. But we're not going to take in any guns. Now, the purpose of us not using any weapons is to showcase that you simply don't need a gun to do this, especially if you're a beginner, but to showcase as well that you're even more powerful if you do bring in a gun. Now, obviously, if you guys are going to be using a weapon, I recommend at minimum purple uh, rarity or epic rarity with at least double pack. If you can, triple pack, even if it takes a little bit longer, it's just going to make the run a whole lot easier. Now, obviously, if you can triple pack legendary, it's the way to go. But most beginners won't have that right off the rip. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our way to the tier three zone. We're going to try and locate a contract that we can do without a gun. Um, which is cargo or outlast so it looks like we have a cargo contract and that is what we're going to be heading to first now there's going to be uh, a few things that we're going to need before we go in so when you're a solo player every single time you complete the contract the first contract in the game that you complete as a solo player is going to give you a self revive no matter what you want to try your best to keep this and not go down if you do go down you're just going to have to do some more contracts to be able to purchase another one but i do recommend getting yourself revive and just trying your best to stay alive which i know it can be a little bit more challenging in the tier three zone but uh we're also going to be needing a sigil which is an rng rng drop related uh item that you need to access the dark ether it basically activates the portal if you have the opportunity try and get a few casmir grenades you can get these from uh reward rifts you can find these just literally laying on a shelf in the tier 3 zone you can buy them at the tier 3 buy station for 5,000 a pop but they're always going to help you if you have enough essence you might as well just buy them um don't go in there with extra essence you you don't need it unless you have uh items that you're chilling with so don't don't just go in there you know with 10k and then just think you're gonna bare bones it because you'll definitely make your life a thousand times easier if you can get like casimir grenades and you know maybe you can buy another self rebuy which each self res is 5k essence at the buy station tier 3 zone as well but uh i do recommend casimirs you can do it with just one self revive you just gotta be careful you don't want to die but uh yeah so we're gonna complete this contract we might be able to get a sigil right away all right, self revive rare ether tool. We do not need that. So now, after completing that contract, we're gonna go ahead and go grab this outlast contract that was spawned in over here. We're gonna go ahead and try and complete that. Now, what I'm also gonna do is while I'm doing or uh, making my way over here, I'm gonna be looking for some crates with the purple shards on them. That way, we can have a chance at getting, you know, say, casmirs out of those as well and other awesome items. Here's a casmir in one. We'll grab it. Let's go ahead and grab this outlast contract and let's hurry up and complete this thing all right there we go contracts done let's go ahead and go up here and get our reward see what we can get we might get a sigil might not a uh, large bag we'll take it to plate vest napalm burst we don't need it because we don't have a gun so we haven't gotten a sigil yet so we're gonna have to continue completing contracts until we get one now i kind of recommend completing a few contracts regardless if you get one right away or not you don't need nothing you sure I mean, what you need? Damn. What you need? Pick what you need. <laughs> Damn, you need dude. It, don't take it. If you want it, I'll take it. I don't care. Give it out to other people. Dang. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> well, we still ain't gonna use them. But hey, GG's on him, man. People are awesome. W guy, W guy for sure. All right, we got to wait for contracts to spawn in. Ooh, another cargo popped up. Okay, cool. So we're going to grab this. But, yeah, that guy was awesome, man. He dropped us uh, all this stuff. 
but I'll take it, man. People are really nice in the community, man, especially if you're hanging around in the tier 3 zone. A lot of people are just chilling in here, farming essence and stuff like that, helping people out. Uh, so you can always count on there to be somebody, you know, say you play all day, you play for five hours, right? You're bound to find somebody who's going to drop you good items or even essence. Even you can ask in the game chat and people will do it, man. The, the, the MWZ community is one amazing community. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Hopefully we can get a sigil. I'm pretty much ready to go. I just need to buy two perks and then I'll probably buy uh, an extra Casimir. Because I only have one. We only have one still, the one that we did find. But we have 10k. But we'll see. So, through this process, you don't want to... Uh, oh, man. I gotta finish this contract. I'll come back and res you. I gotta do this contract. But, you don't want to lose the decoy grenades. And you don't want to lose your lethal. You don't want to swap it out for something dumb. Now, keep in mind, if you don't have any... Like, say you're running Semtexes and you have no Semtexes ready or available... And you go to the Dark ether, you'll spawn in and not be able to refill them. There we go. Sigil. Okay. Cool. Tombstone recipe. We don't need that. All right. Let me go revive this guy. And then we can stop at the bio station, which is just right up here. He's just right over here. I don't think there's a lot of zombies over there. I'm coming, brother. Don't worry, man. Yo, look, whenever you see somebody down, man, just take the 10 seconds, stop, and revive them. It'll always come back to you, man. Everybody dies. There is nothing wrong with it. Everybody dies multiple times, actually. Let me go ahead and use this. Holy crap. Brother. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't have PhD, so I can't just pop this mortar. Okay. I do have a cell revive, but then that's going to make me lose my self res. Oh my god. We got to train these guys away. I do have a decoy. Where'd that uh, Mimic go? Did he die? If he died, we're chilling. If he didn't die, then we might just get killed. Thankfully, this guy's a triple pack gun. I'm hoping it's legendary. This might have been the guy who dropped me things. <laughs> All right, let me get a few Casimirs. Oh, no. No, I lost my decoys. Okay. Brother. 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 You might get us killed here. I'm going to keep it honest with you. You might just get us killed. Come on, zombies. Come on. Holy crap, man. That guy didn't have a self-res, huh? I don't have quick revive either. Shoot him, brother. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know if I can help you, bro. I can throw a Casimir. I have enough to buy two more, so I'll just throw one. Ugh. I don't have a self revive. Brother, how'd you die? Is it gonna let me revive you? No way. There we go. Alright, that's the last time I can, man. I gotta go to the Dark Ether. Please help. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you better revive me. Thank you. Risking my life. Alright, we need to buy another Casimir. Grab this stuff. We need to buy another Casimir grenade. And then we need to buy a self revive. So, preferably you don't want to go down, but we did, frankly. But it's okay. I'm not stressing. Alright. So, we have two Casimirs of self revive. We're good. So, let's go ahead and head there. What? 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 Essence? <laughs> I guess the good deed always helps, right? You know? Always help people out, man. And they'll give you essence. Why not, right? We'll just go ahead and buy another one more Casimir. And then we'll just buy another self revive. Okay. Let's head there. So we have three Casimirs now uh, and two self revives. That is the enough. We do not need any more. We actually could have used a little bit less. If we would have kept our decoys, you'd only need two Casimirs. Possibly even just one. You don't need Casimirs if you play it right, but still it can be, can be a little interesting. So tier four and tier five, I believe, are the exact same. I think the only reason tier 5, it just has more mega abominations, a few more bosses and stuff like that. But no way, shape, or form do the zombies have more health. Are they harder to kill? Are they faster? No, it is the exact same. Tier 4, tier 5 is tier 3 zombies. But let's hop in this dark ether and get this stuff done. Alright, let's do this, boys. So, the three contracts up there, you guys see the three teddy bears. That one's going to go over here. 
okay and then the middle one is going to go all the way back here those are the only two we're going to focus on for the acquisitions and stuff like that um because the one on the right is the escort and without guns it's impossible uh you would need a vr11 at least but uh yeah i recommend just doing that one with the squad but we're going to focus on the extractors and then the uh what's it called outlast we need to get some perks so there's a perk machine right here let's just go ahead and buy jug and stamina that's all we need Ugh. My god, <laughs> and you can always spawn in with perks as well. You don't got to be like me. I spawned in with absolutely nothing All right, so we do have four casimirs now. I thought we only had three Who know? Oh wait, did it refill for me? Sometimes it does that it'll give you like two of two Whatever you have If you have one when you spawn in Sometimes it'll do that. All right, so the strat for this for all the beginners is it's a little bit tedious this first throw but this is the most important throw you could make of your lifetime all right this is better than the world series pitch you want to throw it <laughs> stupid mangler oh my gosh you want to throw it right at that corner of that first one and you'll get it there but every time you come up here the zombies will come close to you it'll just kill them so that's the number one thing you want to do now we have three left let's go ahead and hop over through here Hit the top of this gate grapple on all right what we're gonna do here is we're gonna throw this one off this wall up top here zombies are gonna push in we're gonna go ahead and get them killed real quick manglers coming you really want to wait for this mangler because it'll definitely take him down a little bit but what you also want to do is if you have your energy mine go ahead and pop that down because this one can be a little bit tedious sometimes because zombies will keep coming so you definitely want to be prepared for that. All right, we're going to head to this last one. We're going to grab our Casimir. Oh my God, my game almost crashed. No, it made me miss the freaking parachute because my game glitched. I'll just go ahead and play it up. No worries. Chop up through here. Throw a Casimir. Casimirs are the best way to uh, function through this zone. Come on. Now the best thing with this one is it takes a while for the zombies to respawn up here. So once you kill the initial uh, boss and some of the zombies that are surrounding it, you're pretty much chilling if you can get up to this right away. And then there we go, contract's completed. So the Casimirs will help a ton. We got a zombie right here. Just go ahead and get in here real quick. And then the Elder Sigil is for the uh, tier five part. So do keep that in mind. That's to get the schematics. This is for the acquisitions. But this is how I farm all mine. Uh, you don't got to bring in guns at all. So we have one more self revive left. And we got to complete this outlast contract. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Very simple. Very fast. Go ahead and grab it. And we're going to head up here to the zip line. It's going to be right over here. All right. But yeah, I think in order from... Uh, Easiest to hardest is Outlast, um, Extractors, and then uh, Escort. I don't know. Sometimes the Outlast can be easy. Sometimes it can be hard. So you want to hop up here on these and just run back and forth. Now the zombies will throw meat at you, but with the self-revive, you're pretty much golden if you just keep going to the edge and edge. But you don't want to slow down. That's the biggest mistake you can make. Now, obviously, if you have a Casimir left, a Semtex, a Decoy, you can always chuck them and the zombies will go to it. So do keep that in mind or you can like pop up like this and just run around. It's pretty simple once you get the strat down. You'll be pretty much golden. Um, perk wise, I don't really think you necessarily need a ton of perks. If you want to get, you know, jug, stamina, up, speed, cola like I have, you're, by all means do so. It will not hurt you in the end. Now you can also get on this side as well. They both work the same. If you have a teammate, he can get on this side and then you can get on this side as well. It's basically pretty simple. We're at 60% now, um, so we're almost going to have this thing completed, and then we can extract. Well, I'll show you guys where I extract as well, because a lot of people actually wonder. The reason why I'm making this video is for a lot of the beginners on this game who are like, bro, how the heck do we get this stuff? All right, we just went down. Um, okay. we got to be careful. Don't want to die. Now, obviously, we could throw on the golden plates, but no point we're at 90 percent just hop back and forth right through there there we go contracts completed let's go ahead and dip get out of here real quick objective complete 
Uh, do we have any zombies chasing us? You always want to make sure you check this. All right. Let's go ahead and get them around over here. Grab this plate. All right. Let's go ahead and hit this reward rip real quick. What's inside? Terrible items. All right. We're going to head to extraction. So from the Outlast contract, the reason why I do the Outlast one last is you just walk up one of these walls or doors over there, and then you'll see that stairwell we just went up. Just come up to this one. And the X fails right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Did not forget to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel as well. And I will see you guys in the next one, boys. I'm out. Have a good one. And uh, peace, boys.